y'all know, Eminem will be performing at the halftime show with Dr. Dre, Kendrick Lamar, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige. They're all in attendance. They're all in the building. Super Bowl 50, whatever. I don't even know which one it is, right? This is obviously a play by Jay-Z. He partnered with the NFL last year. They had the weekend, and now they have this, what is it, five people? <laughs> five people that are here. So some people are displeased with this. So we got Bridget Kelly, who is Joe Budden TV host of See The Thing Is. She has uh, garnered some backlash due to her statements about Eminem being the token white guy on the list. Let's just take a listen to what she has to say, and then we'll react to the story. I, I, love, I love the idea of, of so much beautiful black talent on this stage. This is the yeah. biggest stage in the country. I, this is the most, I, I this is the you, most I watched you correct, event. I, you got to correct yourself. What? Eminem is still on there. All right, so either, either way, way, either way, way, I would love to see it because it's it also when when are we ever going to see Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and Mary J. Blige and Kendrick Lamar on stage together? I could do without Eminem. I don't care. I don't really care whether he's there or not. I just hope he puts this uh, money into like an offshore account before that ex-wife come and try to uh, listen. Get do you know? Some more money. Do you know what I do? Do you know what I do love about this? About Eminem being the token, the token white guy on this. What? Usually, it's the other way around. Usually, okay. it's, usually it's all it's a whole fucking lineup of white talent, and then it's like let's just throw a person of color in there so that people don't get upset. Let's not ruffle feathers. That's what this feels like. This was like Valid. let's get all this top tier black talent and let's throw somebody white in the bill just so we don't piss anybody off. Valid. You know what I mean? But you couldn't. You, you weren't going to throw Toby Keith up. All right. So that was her statements. That was her remarks. People were upset about that, and um, I get why people would be upset only because um, certain people feel like you're just trying to place race in something where. Race doesn't really matter. Let's just acknowledge that Dr. Dre is up there. Let's just acknowledge that uh, Snoop Dogg is there. Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar. Let's just acknowledge these great acts are on there as well. So a lot of tweets, a lot of uh, people were saying, um, I don't think Eminem is a token white guy. I don't think that the NFL threw him on there. I think Dr. Dre, who is the headlining artist, who obviously springboarded Eminem's career, wanted Eminem to be there. So Objectively, I can honestly look at this both ways. I can see why the NFL would want to put Eminem on there as the quote unquote token white guy. Because, and that's not to say people, Snoop is probably one of the most famous rappers worldwide ever. Everybody knows who Snoop Dogg is, right? Uh, Dr. Dre is super famous. I don't know if he's as well known as Snoop Dogg, obviously, as Eminem, but, you know, they're there. So I can see why they would put Eminem on there. Obviously, Super Bowl is mostly consumed by a large white audience. You know, if they just got these black people down here. Like, Who the fuck is he? Oh, Eminem. Okay, okay. There will be some people like that. Not everybody, not overwhelmingly, but there will be a subset of people like, Who the fuck is all these people? Oh, shit, there's Eminem. We know him. Because even if they know Snoop Dogg, I don't think they necessarily know Snoop Dogg's musical catalog, if you know what I'm saying. Just because you know an artist don't mean you enjoy their music or want to hear them on the Super Bowl. So... Let's implement uh, Eminem into that factor. Let's Im implement him into that crowd. But I think it just makes sense. I mean, now, if you wanted to have an all-black cast, it's not like they haven't done that before. Obviously, The Weeknd was there by himself, shut down the show last year. They say they've had people like Prince. They've had people like Michael Jackson. Obviously, Beyonce did her thing. She brought out what she bring out, Bruno Mars or something like that. Like, there's been black acts that have been out there on their own. Now, if your argument was we've never had hip-hop artists by themselves, not as a feature act, not come out and sing with Lady Gaga or whatever like that. Like, hip-hop artists focus, and then y'all just want to bring a white guy to, you know, kind of, you know, level the playing field. I can understand that argument if that's the argument that you're trying to have. But if you look at Dr. Dre's legacy, Eminem is the biggest artist that came from that Dr. Dre tree. That's just what it is. Like, this guy has, what, two diamond albums. Every time he drops, he sells hella records. He has a very loyal fan base. And at the end of the day, let's not get it twisted. The NFL wants the cheddar. The NFL wants the money. So they're thinking, if we bring Eminem on the bill, then all them Eminem stands will run over to the show. They will be watching them advertisements. And now all those $2 million ads, those $3 million, now the $3 million ads might bump up to five just because – we got Eminem on the bill as well, but to be to be for it for my interest, for purposes of my mind, what songs do you think they're gonna do at the Super Bowl? You think like I need a doctor? Like what songs is Snoop Dogg gonna do 
at the Super Bowl. Comment down below what songs you think. Like Mary J. Blige, she's an R&B singer. That's more, you can make that more family friendly. Uh, Kendrick, they might have them do, we, you know, they in they, they black people shit. They probably got, you know, stand up, can't breathe. They probably have him perform all right or some shit like that, right? Like, we going to be all right. They probably have him perform that. But what do you think Eminem will perform? Maybe Not Afraid. What's that other one that you played when you was in high school? You play that shit on your, like, mixtape highlight. Like, this is like the Eminem <coughs> song that you play. Which one is that? I don't even remember which one it is. But for Snoop Dogg, what do I play for Snoop Dogg? I'm really wondering about that. What do I play for Snoop Dogg? But she got a lot of backlash for that. Obviously, people are tired of people injecting race into things. Just let Eminem be what Eminem is. But I can see where her argument does take place. I get what she's trying to say. I get how you can see it that way as well. I'm not going to see her and be like, oh, my God, that point is so stupid. Why would she even say that? I get why she said that. That point, I, I can see where... And what in your when your train of thought where that makes sense, but um, that's all for that. She got backlash. People, you know, Eminem fans, you can't talk about Eminem without them fans coming for your head because they will come for your head at every chance that they get. Hope you enjoyed that clip from the D Friends show. We have plenty of more content for you guys to check out. I have tons of clips. Tons of full podcasts. You can check them out here. You can also go to SoundCloud, Spotify, and iTunes. Just search up the Different Show. You can find a plethora of back catalog over there as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video.